Welcome Connecticut District 5 voters to this very important house race that is coming up with Representative Johanna Hayes versus George Logan. Americans are struggling with inflation, a rate that now exceeds 8%. And nearly one third of Americans are struggling to pay bills. President Biden and these excessive spending packages has increased the cost of everything. Inflation, 100% the fault of Biden, or perhaps 56%, $56 of every 100 that Americans spend are on corporate profit. It's corporate profit that's causing inflation. Now, what does George Logan say? He says it's all Biden's fault. He doesn't recognize that there are 18 countries that have been harder hit than we have by global inflation. And 200 Republicans voted against it. What has Representative Hayes done? Everything. Making insulin more affordable, lower cost child care, all kinds of acts. Now, their policy positions, take a look at this. This is really a pathetic state. Five sentences for his entire policy pr proposals. Five different policies, one sentence each. Inflation. Oh, and bringing down gas prices. Sounds similar to inflation. New voice in, uh, in Washington. Good for you. Giving first responders what they need. Oh, Representative Hayes doesn't do that, nor does she fight for our veterans. Of course, we, we should trust George Logan, whose entire platform is five sentences. Now, Johanna Hayes, the representative, has done tons in just four years, focusing on protecting a woman's body, not just for District 5, but for people in Kentucky as well because people in Connecticut care about others. Common sense gun safety. She voted against, for in favor of background checks against soul weapon bans. She stood up to Marjorie Taylor Greene, who called Sandy Hook a false flag, and demanded she couldn't be allowed in a department in Congress, investing in infrastructure. She has helped Connecticut with $550 billion in funds of school infrastructure with millions. She voted to impeach Trump not once but twice, and now the Dow, the uh, Department of Justice has him guilty of treason, violating the Espionage Act. What does she do for uh, Connecticut? My God, what didn't she do? $47.8 billion in restaurant help. I mean, it's unbelievable the amount of work that this woman does. And the threats to democracy are real. There will be a national ban on abortion with Republicans. They may decide the president in the 2024. There will be no gun control, no nothing. So you have a choice. Representative jo Johanna Hayes, who has brought Connecticut millions of dollars for COVID-19 relief infrastructure investment, or a five-sentence policy platform candidate. You be the judge, Connecticut.